Rogue Ninja is a game that's in development by the same developers of Rogue Demon, and if the sneaks you've been given so far, we can already tell how the whole game works. I'll cut to the chase and explain every single mechanic, so stay tuned as I explain the entire game for you all. First, let's explain these two bars. The green one is your health bar. If you take hits, it goes down. If you lose all of it, you get knocked. Once you're knocked, people can pick you up or execute you, the latter of which will kill you for good. The second red bar is your ultimate bar. When it's fully charged up, you can press G to do a special move. For Naruto, it's a grab that plays a cutscene and deals massive damage. For Madara, it summons a zone that stuns anyone in it, before dropping a meteor. Your ultimate meteor charges up by landing hit or being hit. That's all there is to say about this corner of the screen. Now, let's talk about this side of the screen. The two logs are your evasives. Pressing Q while you're being comboed will let you escape a combo at the cost of one of these logs. When a log is darkened out, that means you can't use it, while a log that's clearly colored is available to be used. These are generated over time, sort of like your normal evasive system. This blue bar all the way to the left is your meter. You need meter in order to do your dash, and without your dash, it's pretty hard to do some big combos, so that's why you need to keep your meter up. Doing this will leave you vulnerable, but if you don't do it, you can't use your moves which you need to do long extended combos. Now, for basic mechanics. To dash, you press Q. You can do normal dashes in a direction by pressing the Q button while holding down a direction key, like W, A, S, or D. Meanwhile, if you stand still and then press Q, it'll do a sort of lock on combo starting dash that'll cost you 50% of your meter. And this is why meter is important, because without these combo starting dashes, it's pretty hard to extend your combos, as you can see in some of the footage. Speaking of block, you can do it by pressing F, and it seems to let you kind of tank anything aside from guard breaks, though I don't know what in this game breaks guard. You can't attack while blocking, obviously, and it's basically the way you're going to defend against most attacks. There is also a counter system in the game, but I don't know exactly how it works except for the fact that you need chakra, aka your meter, to do a counter. Doing a counter, from what I can see, kicks your opponent away from you, but it does stun them enough so that you can use an assault dash to follow up the combo. In the footage, Imed uses his fireball move after doing the counter, and then uses an assault dash to start a combo. So take from that what you will. If you press Q in a combo, you do an evasive like I talked about, and pressing C charges your meter. Now to move on to the two characters we have so far. The first character, which he is using in the sneak peek, is Naruto, and he has two moves. The first move, which is called Shadow Clone, is a little weird. If you use it while you M1 combo someone, a clone is going to appear and it'll assist your combo for a maximum of 3 hits. And if you stop attacking the target, the clone will disappear with it. However, if you use it after the 4th M1, it ends the combo with 3 clones and sends your target into the sky. But what this does is let you follow it up with an assault dash to further continue the combo. The second move throws out a Rossin Shuriken after charging it, and this Shuriken, once hitting the ground or touching any kind of surface, will make a large explosion. I don't know how much damage this does because I can't see Imed's screen, but I'd assume it does a decent amount of damage. Pressing M2 will change how the move works, instead turning it into a very close range grab that probably does large damage. The ultimate for this is a grab that does a very nice cutscene, but which does a lot of damage to the opponents. Explaining the second character, Madara, is a lot more simple. His first move is a Susano grab that basically throws your opponent in whatever direction you want them to be in, and you can follow this up with an assault dash to combo extent. The second move spits out a fireball, which seems to stun the opponent long enough for you to start a combo with an assault dash, though I'm not too sure about this. Imed is pretty much always seen using this after a counter to start a combo. For the ultimate, it summons a zone, and anyone in it gets stunned. Then, a meteor gets dropped on them, which probably does a lot of damage. That's really all of the base mechanics for the game, and there's nothing more to say about it. If you enjoyed this video explaining the base mechanics of the game, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help out a lot. That's all from me, have a nice day.